Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 and I'm back this time with my review of the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra Cobra Deviant Mobile Mech Suit. Of course this is the um, second mobile mech suit from the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra line. The first being the um, Steel Marauder. Of course um, down here you can see it says Fire and Grappling Hook which is one of the attachments up here and the other which um, unlike the Steel Marauder they actually leave one of the arms disconnected in packaging so you can see how the um, two mech suits can swap out arm attachments. Over here is, uh, I believe, uh, supposed to be a battering ram. Of course, over here on the side, you've got the um, a picture of the Cyber Viper figure, which is your driver, you can see down here. Over here, you've got a picture of the Cobra Deviant. Really awesome job on this box art. Of course, over here, you have a picture of um, just it in its environment, which is the City Strike. And it says, launches, fire, and grappling hook, opening cockpit, and bat um, battering ram. So I was right. It says, the Cobra Deviant mobile mech suit gives extraordinary speed and power to the person inside it. Using advanced technology, this battle armor changes its operator into a, dev um, a devastating weapon that can battle an entire squadron. Fully posable mobile mech suit, removable arms, interchangeable with G.I. Joe Steel Marauder mobile mech suit, sold separately. So, um, the final thing we'll have a look at before we actually open the packaging, down here the Cyber Vipers file card. And it said, Cyber Vipers have bio-cybernetic implants which allow them to organically interface with computerized systems like the highly advanced Cobra Deviant mobile mech suit. Using these interconnections, they operate the suits as an extension of their minds and bodies, giving them a powerful advantage over the G.I. Joe team when they encounter them in the night-shrouded streets of the city. Mission Equipment D-57A Extreme Environment Tactical Rifle. Um, Kickstart, the driver of the G.I. Joe Steel Marauder, did not come with any accessories, so it says he that's his favorite rifle and he's got a picture of the knife, so I'm curious as to whether or not we get any accessories with this guy. But um, that being said, really glad to have this guy. Let's pull him out of the packaging. And first we're going to be having a look at the Cyber Viper, who, um, like I thought, doesn't come with a lot of accessories, but he does come with his knife concealed down here in his boot. And, um... I thought this would be a removable helmet, but it's actually all part of the head sculpt. However, it is a really nice head sculpt. Let's get him standing here real quick. Pick it up and zoom in on there. See, he's got the full-on eyes and the, um, oops, lost focus there for a second. There we go. He's the eyes and the target on his visor, so it ends up looking really cool either way. Oh, a lot of great detail all down this guy. Oops, he fell over. Oh, well, we're done looking at detail anyway. His articulation is the standard for G.I. Joe's. He's got the up and down on the head as far and the full 360. Arms go up to here, do a full 360. Have an elbow joint, spin, and spin at the wrist. Same for both arms. Turns at the waist, um, his torso joint, I mean his um abdomen joint is kind of hindered by the fact that he's wearing this um body armor. Let's go out, forward, and back. Double joint at the knee and ankle joint. So um a very nice driver. Kind of disappointing we um, had a lack of, once again, a lack of firearms for um, the mech drivers, but at least he got his knife. That being said, let's go on to the Cobra Deviant. And here we have the Cobra Deviant mobile mech suit out of package after full sticker application. I've got my um, Cyber Viper driver up there. Of course, let's get a full 360 of this guy. I especially like this sticker up here, the back off Hail Cobra. Looks like somebody just spray painted it on over the Cobra logo. But, um, as always, a great job of detail. Lots of little notches and um, especially wiring and circuitry all makes this look great. Oh, now this is some very different arm attachments, unlike the um, different from the Steel Marauder, where who got a machine gun and a pincer claw. Here you have a battering ram. You can see the action feature there. You just come down here, press this button, and over here you have the um, grappling hook, which is up here. You just fire this and. You can actually see the um, cord unraveling. To get it to wind back up, you simply um, spin it. Just give me one second to do that. Doesn't take near as long as you might think. And plug it back in. It's nice I don't have to chase any missiles. Um, of course, as far as articulation with the um, different arm attachments, you, unlike the um, Steel Marauder whose arms came out to here, these both just simply um, do a full 360 and have some very slight in and out. Um, of course, the mech still does a full 360 at the waist. The legs still go back and forth and slightly out. No knee joint, and the ankle, of course, has the full range of movement. Of course, let's get this posed back around here. 
course you also have your um, machine guns up here on the side which can do a full 360. And let's actually, you know what, let's get a look at this detailing up here on the top. Of course you've got your stickers to make it look like computer circuitry. Um, that one right there actually couldn't, it was supposed to go on the um, exterior of the shield, um, windshield or dome or whatever, but I couldn't get it to so I had to put it on the inside. So, backing off here, let's actually pop the cockpit open. You can see the Cyber Viper up there. These guys look great in cockpit. Of course, you can see him. He's got both his handles. A lot of sticker application on there. Um, I'm not going to bother taking him out. Um, if you want a better look at the interior of the cockpit, check out my Steel Marauder review. I'll post a link down in the bottom of the description box. But um, that being said, let's actually get a comparison in here to the Steel Marauder itself, which his legs are kind of bent. To pan back out here a little bit and boom they're both barely on frame but they're in frame okay so both of these from the mobile mech suit line there will be two um mech suits released next year um once again just kind of the same thing with same suits with um different arm attachments are both running you 20 bucks from the pursuit of cobra line um i thought the steel marauder was a fantastic mech suit um, the Cobra Deviant is definitely nice. It definitely has a nice metallic, you know, red, and it definitely looks like something Cobra would, Cobra would use. Um, I, the only complaint I have with this thing at all is um, between the two, it seems like the Steel Marauder definitely got the two cooler arm attachments. They come out farther, which makes the mech suit look a little bit bigger. Um, this one got the grappling hook and the battering ram, or this one got the cannon and the pincer claw. So um, overall, if you could only get one, I'd still go with the Steel Marauder. However, um, being a diehard Joe fan, I say everyone still needs to pick up both of these guys. And um, Oh, I might as well show you the detachable arms. Kind of hard to get off here. And one second while I grab this guy's arm off. Have the arm from the Steel Marauder. Of course, the interchangeable features on... One small complaint about that is that a lot of these stickers seem to make it like this one has a Cobra logo on it. So taking it and putting it on the G.I. Geo mech just doesn't seem much sense. So um, this definitely seems more like partial to um, customizers, somebody who's going to take it out, paint it over before they ever think of doing any kind of sticker application or anything like that. Um, so overall, once again, it'll run you 20 bucks. If you can only get one, I'd still pick up the Steel Marauder over this guy. But this is definitely a solid mech suit that would look great in your Pursuit of Cobra display. And this is JTrain9987 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.